because you cannot have joy, happiness, confidence, and peace when you don't have the spirit of forgiving, no matter how they offend you, or how they might hurt your feelings, or how uncomfortable that they may have made you feel. <laughs> In the uh, teaching of the language of our people, in uh, the Nebuzad, there's no word for uh, sorry, to say that you are sorry. You can say a word that is uh, something that is used as a substitute for the word sorry, but it's uh, that means something in a way that I did not intend to do that, or it is something accidental that happened. And so I would say I am sorry in that way to apologize to someone. But the uh, other word that is so very important is uh, is to say sorry in a way, but it is that the uh, word which means to forgive. Sometimes I hear people say in the language of our people when they maybe get... Uh, in some argument or something or something happened that they don't intend to let that person forget that incident and they would say something like which means that I have not forgiven that person and so I hear the language used in that way sometimes and it's against the traditional teachings of our people especially in a family setting forgiving it is something that you must always remember is that whatever is might happen that might be caused by your grandparents or by your parents or by your siblings or any of the other extended family like uncles and aunts uh, those people you have to forgive entirely for whatever it is that they might have done or said that may have offended you in some way and so the idea of forgiving is very much stressed as far as the uh, immediate family and the teaching of our people is such that uh, it is very serious to be able to f forgive someone. Banj the ah, you know, opadan ah, which means to forgive. And the teaching with that is that you have to learn to forgive. You cannot have a person feeling like they have to have revenge. Revenge is something that would. Uh, really be hurtful to yourself and it would be no more damage to you, you as an individual and uh, the idea of uh, feeling re revenge uh, feeling like you have to have revenge towards somebody is offensive to the holy people and so it is that you cannot be vindictive in any way uh, to family members or people within your own clan family but also if in greater uh, circles you would be you'd have to apply that forgiveness to uh, the whole tribe of Dene. That means any members of any clan and other than your own clan and so on. And that the uh, teaching of uh, not being able to forgive is something that is offensive to the holy people. That means to go ahead and let them have your own feelings Forget what incident that took place that offended you or made you feel uncomfortable or made you feel unhappy. And so the teaching is that it is very necessary as an individual to ne to forgive. Opanj the ah, that is uh, something that has to be done to make you a better person and to live, to have joy and happiness and confidence and peace. Because you cannot have joy, happiness, confidence and peace when you don't have the uh, spirit of forgiving and uh, letting people know that you don't uh, hold any type of uh, animosity toward them. And so those are some of the traditional teaching that is kind of forgotten by so many of our people, is the idea of forgiving. ah is what they used to tell them. ah is the way they used to tell me, forgive that person, forgive, it, forgive those individuals. And so I know it's very difficult to uh, practice that in some cases, but uh, it is nonetheless, it is part of the traditional teaching to be able to have the ability to forgive people no matter how they offend you or how they might hurt your feelings or how uncomfortable that they may have made you feel. And those are the traditional teachings of our people. Yeah,